As you can see, I've added a little bit more information to the floor plan. I have my two elevations, and I've added a little bit more to those as well. What I'd like to do is create a section view of the house, as if I cut the house through the main part of the house here, and then looked at it on end from uh, left to right. What would the framing look like? For that, I can take advantage of this elevation view and some of the uh, drawing that I've already done. What I'm going to do is copy a major part of this drawing, making sure that I have all the information that's relevant, the ceiling, finished floor, grade, and center. Um, doesn't matter where I... Uh, Put it just so I have it here available for using. So let me rotate that so I'm look at it, looking at it. Normally I want to rotate it 90 degrees. And now I'd like to move this so it aligns with this elevation. So just do a move command. Um, just grab, I'll reference the floor here. I'm going to move it force perpendicular. Shift right click, perpendicular. I want it to be perpendicular to that line right there. And you can see now that the floor lines align and the ceiling line aligns. A little bit more trimming and editing. will not show windows in that view, so I'll delete those. And the vents, I'll delete the vents as well. All right, this gives me a major um, uh, advantage to being able to start with something that's already drawn. All I have to do is fill in the details for the section now. From here, I'm ready to set up a sheet for plotting. So what I want to do is go down here to my tabs. Now, if your tabs aren't showing, let me turn mine off. If, if you don't see your tabs here, remember to go down to this button next to Model. Right-click on it, and it says Display Layouts and Model Tabs. Just click on that, and it will display your tabs. What I want to do is go to Layout 1. You can see that there's an 8.5 by 11 sheet already laid out here and a viewport that comes along with that. I'm going to right click on the tab and go to Page Setup Manager. From here I want to modify and just as we have been doing we'll go to drawing to pdf.pc3. That's how we create our uh, PDF files. And the paper size will be our standard architectural D, 24 by 36. For the plot pen plotting styles, I'll choose AutoCAD. Of course, we're in landscape. Everything else is OK, so I'll click OK and then close. And now you can see that I have a 24 by 36 sheet. What I'm going to do is expand this out. And I'm going to go into the viewport. And right away, I noticed that the drawing automatically resized for extents. Let's look at this again. If I zoom in and scale this and then came out of the viewport and went back into the viewport, it resizes again. We don't want this to happen. Once we set the scale in this viewport, we want it to stay there. What's happened is that we have UCS follows turned set on. So on the command line, when you're in the viewport, go to the command line, type UCS follow, and it's set to 1. We wanted to set it to 0. 0 turns it off. Press Enter. And now, when I zoom in and set the scale, I can go back in and out of the viewport, and it won't move and resize. So at this point, I'm going to press Save and um, we'll go on to the next video.